What's up Justin Squad? Today is an exciting day. Today is the day I finally bought a new vlogging camera. Ah, yay. Many people have been asking me what's a good camera for vlogging and the current camera I use is Sony Cybershot DSC HX80. It is a decent camera for vlogging if you're on a lower budget. I would say 300 bucks is going to get you the camera. If you don't have a budget at all, you can always use your cell phone, but for 300 bucks, you can get this camera that I'm currently filming on right now. But I finally made the upgrade to the exact camera that Logan Paul uses in almost every one of his vlogs, and that camera is, drum roll please, the PowerShot G7X Mark II. This camera cost me about 700 bucks. I would say for quality and price, this is the best vlogging camera you can buy. It's 700 bucks. Uh, if you're on a budget, you can always find one on eBay used for about 500 to 600. So that's a good deal getting a used one, but it's about 700 new. And this camera is going to do everything you can expect it to do and then some. Let's jump into the unboxing of the Canon G7X Mark II. Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. So we'll start, we'll pop this flap open back here. So it looks like we have the warranty. Looks like we have a cat. <laughs> I think it comes with a warranty, which is always good. There's some info. Here's a getting started guide. Uh, it's only about way too long. It's the camera itself right here. Comes in plastic, it's wrapped up. Oh baby. There she blows. I love this, it's got the pop-out screen. But can you do this? Unlike most, it doesn't just pop out, it also goes like that, so you can you know do a little more stuff with it, whatever you're in the mood for. Typical battery charger. Nice simple wall plug-in. Little lanyard for the camera. I don't need that. Official battery. That's all that's in the box. So let's put the battery in here. On the bottom there's just a lock and open switch. Kind of nice. Nice and easy. The, it looks like the SD card goes in here as most standard cameras do. There we go, battery's in, lock. Camera's on, and the quality looks amazing. There's a lot of differences on this. Like, I can just zoom in just right there. That is, whoa, that is cool. So just spinning this zooms in the camera. That is really nice. It's kind of like a DSLR in that sense. So let's do some comparing to the current camera I have. I will do the same distance and we will compare the audio and the video. So we're going to do a test right now. So test one is about five feet away. Super califragilistic, expialidocious. Now we're on the G7X, still about five feet away. Super califragilistic, expialidocious. From about ten feet away, still talking in the same volume of my voice. We're going to do another test. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Now from about 10 feet away on the Canon G7X. Super califragilistic expialidocious. As, as you can see, the quality on this camera is insane. And the audio seems to be a little bit better, in my personal opinion. But the autofocus is what's awesome. Like you see this autofocusing on my face, and then it autofocuses right onto Lola. Now down to the nitty gritty specs the 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 juicy stuff the stuff you guys were really waiting for the big differences between the two cameras we'll start out with the advantages of the sony cybershot dsc hx80 sony actually has a longer battery life it's also 74 grams lighter which is nice for when you're doing long vlogs your arm can get tired from holding up the camera all day long it also has about seven times as much zoom as the g7x so it can go seven times further, which is handy, 
but when it comes to vlogging that is not a necessary thing in my opinion I don't think zoom is a big deal for vlogging but the biggest advantage this camera has over the g7x is the fact that it's about 300 to 400 dollars cheaper that is a big savings for anyone starting out with vlogging so if you're new to vlogging I would say pick this camera up for 300 bucks and start vlogging get a feel for it and then make the decision of if you want to upgrade to the g7x for you know seven hundred dollars so let's get to the advantages the g7x has over this camera the g7x mark ii has a touchscreen camera which is awesome and shooting raw which gives way better quality photos it has 20 megapixels versus this camera which has 18 so it's better quality filming photos it has a faster lens which makes autofocus way better as you can see super quick autofocus g7x has a 300 percent higher iso at 12800 iso iso is what brings light into the camera so for low light shooting the g7x is going to do better than this camera one of the biggest advantages the g7x has for vloggers is the time lapse mode so you can make videos just like casey neistat just by hitting a button and putting it into time-lapse mode. That is my review, that is my unboxing of my new camera, the G7X. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Yo fam, what's good? You see that picture of my face? Click it and subscribe to join the Justin Squad. Missed my last vlog? We'll click here to check that out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up to help the Justin Nation grow. Justin Squad or Justin Nation down below for a chance at a shout out in my next video. Justin Squad, out.